are on the Arizona New Mexico border and as you can see there's a whole bunch of ruins there used to be a smelter here but just behind me there's some mines so we're gonna go inside and go underground check it out let's get to it all right the ruins are over there on the other side of that rise you can see somebody else made their residence here a while back and here's some of the mines right here I'm not sure if that how well that comes up on the camera but you can see uh, all this copper staining on the wall of this pit here see all these greens and turquoises all in the rock so let's see what that portal's all about shall we all right we're right next to the portal you can see there's been people out here hand sorting rocks that's some pretty stuff i love those blues greens and turquoises but yeah this is just right next to the portal there's actually uh two portals there's one right there Looks like that might be a decline. That looks like that used to be some sort of head frame. And then right here is another one. It's definitely rattlesnake season, so we just gotta be careful where we step. Ooh, look at that. There's some more down there. So let's proceed with caution. Oh, it's a decline. All right, I'm about 50 feet inside the portal and you can see all along the back here, the vein of copper they are chasing after. And then uh, that other portal, you can see daylight right there. It meets up with this set of workings and I'm not sure if that's a pillar or two different levels, but it looks like it's flooded right there. So let's get a closer look. There's some modern ladder. It looks like it's made of metal, but we're probably not going to have to use that. We can just go right back out and enter through the other portal. So let's, let's get a closer look. Yeah, it's most definitely flooded. This lower level. That is some strange looking muck. As far as we go right here. See, we weren't even that far in. So here's that ladder. Wow, you can see all the blue on the floor here. And that goes up into a different set of working. So, oh wow, look at that blue up there. Can you see it? Pretty cool. So let's see what's up top here. All right, so we're back outside and this is portal number two. It's right next to the other one, other one we were just in. So let's see if we can get any further in this one. There's an eye bolt right there. They must have had a slusher in here. All right, there's a little trail. And we were just down there a second ago. See, there's the other portal. Oh, this is actually a tunnel. You can see daylight it goes clear through. Here's the vein they're chasing. We're in a stope. One goes up probably about 40 feet. That's a pretty cool picture there. Let's continue along here, see where it takes us. Ooh, it must have punched through right here. 
Okay, yeah, it just goes down to that flooded muck. See? Yeah, we're, it's actually two different levels. It still smells like oil in here from the machinery. <laughs> yeah, they just stoked all this out. This looks like it's more modern, this type of mine. Keeps going. Oh, there's some old workings up there. See that? Old ropes, some timbers, a ladder up there. I wonder if that's another drift level. Oh, yeah, there's another opening that leads to the surface. I don't know if that's just a pit or another decline, but it looks like it's a pit. You can't climb out of that. Let's see if this oh, keeps going. An old truck tire. See the fault wall right there. It's like there. That's caved in, but there's a ledge right there you gotta be careful of. And it looks like it ends. Looks like it faces out. Indeed it does. All right, let's see what else is around here. All right, we just came from over there. We walked across this little ravine and uh, and there's another portal right over here. So let's check this one out too. But I'm out here by myself at the moment. So I just gotta be careful. Ah, this cools off right away. All right, this looks like it's another more modern style working here because uh, it's much wider for underground equipment to get in here like an LHD but this yeah, they have a it's an airline right here <laughs> they, uh, it's just resting there I thought they drilled it through the rock well it looks like some rock hounders right here made a <laughs> makeshift ramp I wonder what they were picking at. Anyways, let's keep going. This area kind of reminds me of Hillsboro because it's desert, but you just go not that deep into the ground and it floods. Just like this one. This one stops anyway. But it smells like a litter box in here. That's Not a good sign. So I'm just carefully peeking around the corner here. Oh yeah, it's really flooded. That looks like it just stops anyway. Wow, the water table's really high up here. The water's clear though. Let's see if we can brighten that up a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's like looking through glass almost. Except for that stuff floating on the top. All right, let's see what else we can find around here.